What's up, my beloved? You guys, today I I'm eating some Thai cuisine. I hope I'm saying that right. And I got a variety of uh, appetizers here and dishes, entrees. I have some red curry with chicken, some pad thai with shrimp, chicken volcano. I got spring rolls. No, I don't have spring rolls. I have egg rolls, chicken wing volcanoes, and crab ragoon with extra sauce. So right here, I got the pad thai with shrimp. We got big shrimps too. And I got all this from a truck. Then I got my wings. These are called the, the volcano wings. So I'm going to be eating that. Let me say my grace because I, I, I forget. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this food that I'm about to receive. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I got to get my braces, my jaws ready, y'all. They chicken wings got like a gravy sauce on them. They are all right, but y'all know how I like my hot sauce. It's not spicy or nothing. Ain't nothing like chicken wings with hot sauce. Mm. Hot sauce, y'all. Y'all, y'all know I'm still trying to get used to these teeth. With these braces, I go to I go Tuesday for an appointment. Again, I feel like I lit it all. That hot dog make them chicken wings bomb. A whole nother level. Unless I'm just hungry. Y'all may be thinking why I'm sitting this far back, but my husband's gonna join me in a minute. He just heating up his food, y'all. I hope I ain't get that in my hair. Yeah, y'all. So, how many y'all ate some Thai food before? I had it before, but y'all, I just need more, you know, to order to eat more of the same like foods from a different culture. I need to have variety or give me some ideas. Y'all, this is my Triton water bottle from, I know y'all want to know, because a lot of y'all ask, it's from Walmart. I got this one from Walmart, and I think it's a 63 ounce. I know I keep on saying 64. Mmm.
You can't go wrong with cucumbers. Very good. I just so fresh. Y'all, sometimes I'll be having a taste, and y'all ladies know what I'm talking about, for that salt and vinegary taste. And that's me right now. That's why I'm using so much hot sauce, y'all. And it's so good. Mm. It's making this chicken bomb. I'm getting this stuff in my tea. Mm. In my braces. But it's so good. Like, y'all, I make my own hot sauce. I know a lot of people ask me, but I have a, uh, I have a, well, um, uh, I have a video on how to make that hot sauce in my playlist. It's a vinegary based hot sauce. Vinegary based, but it's very, very hot, y'all. When I said them wings was good, that was good right there. I cleaned them bones. Them bones is a graveyard, y'all. Yeah, that was good. Now, this is their Thai. Pad Thai. Pad Thai? Okay. It's hot, too. That water there is good. And they got me some limes. I'm thinking this was a go in here, so that's why I'm squeezing it on here. This lime juice. Look at they lemon. They look like shrimp, y'all. They decent size. Decent size shrimp. Cause some people be putting them little bitty. Tiny video shrimps in their stuff. So, it's all good in the neighborhood. Mm. Y'all, when I say it's so hot, mm, it's hot. As in heat. Y'all see that thing? Oh. 
Ooh, I don't know, just cool off something. Y'all may think I'm crazy, but I love, I want my hot sauce on everything now. Please understand, ladies. I want that vinegary taste. Then I got these egg rolls, y'all. What y'all know about that? Hey, what y'all know about that? Hey. Ooh, these things hot, too. Fresh. Fresh out that grease, y'all. And then he gave me some, some, uh, y'all know what, what y'all know about that peanut sauce. Peanut sauce. That dipping sauce. I'm used to having, um. Uh, Sweet and sour, though. Mmm. Okay. That's sauce on point. It's not your average peanut butter sauce. They don't have a lot of peanut butter in it, but they have peanuts in it. But it's like a sweet, tangy sauce, y'all. Mmm. Which is pretty good. But don't say so myself. Mmm. Mmm. And I think because, too, this, these veggies are so, so, um, fresh. I mean, super fresh, y'all. I got shredded chicken in it. Mmm. This food is still hot. I got some wontons, wontons, wontons. I got everything up in here, don't I? Mm, I think I want all that crunchiness. Mmm. Ooh, look me. That's good. I know y'all be asking me why I put my seasons on everything, but I like my seasons, y'all. I just like it. That's why I do it. Mmm. Mmm. Hmm. These are egg rolls. Chicken egg roll. Mmm. Hmm. They own something right there. Mm. 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 So all this hot. My husband's been enjoying it in a second. Hmm? Why? You want to stop it? Um, are you going to remember? My washing machine is going, y'all. We just stopped it. You got that phone? About to find out. I didn't do the thumbnail. Yeah. I'm gonna have my hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Y'all, here he go. What's up, everybody? 
I'm what ready up? to eat. What up? What up? Tell them what you got. I have some of my smoked blackened pink salmon. Yeah, with the smoked. It is. And some green beans that I made. Recipe and all of this on how to make it. It'll be out on my channel, Man in the House. On I said Tuesday, I said Sunday, but I'm gonna do do this on Tuesday uh, instead mm -hmm. because y'all gonna see a mukbang rather than than the recipe and all that. So that'll come out on Tuesday. But this thing is on hit, y'all. Oh yeah, it's on hit. Air fried, mm -hmm. crunchy, spicy, smoky. Mm -hmm. She tasted it. She liked it. So I was about to eat them all. I know it's good. But this is a six ounce piece. So I'm doing my flex meal. So you gotta explain to people what you're doing because everybody don't know you, baby. Yeah, so I'm on Nutri System for Men. I'm down 25.4. Yeah, 25.4 pounds. So it's working for me, y'all. You didn't say, you say, guys? Mm hmm. Okay. You gonna say it over y'all? Mm hmm. Mm, mm, mm. This stuff so good. Y'all. What? It is good, but that'd be a snack for me. You get used to it. Yeah, you do. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. It's got a nice crunch on it too. Mm-hmm. You need to put some basco sauce on that gogo. I already did, it soaked it in. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm too calm, but man. Oh, point. I like the cucumber, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh. Look, we both y'all saying mm, 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 mm. That's when you know it's good. Good and good, good. It definitely is. Mm. How many calories is that? Mm. Mm, that entire I, plate. I didn't tabulate it. It is, um, it was 240, I think, for the, for the salmon. And, you know, green beans are only going to be like 58, something mm. like that, so. Less than 310. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Less than 300? Yeah, just under 300. Wow. Y'all see that? 'll be like pulling teeth trying to get him to eat vegetable now you like them mm -hmm. a little bit of sea salt a mm -mm. little bit of garlic okay mm. we don't know mm-hmm
I love vegetables, period. When they season, I'm gonna be doing a um um a vegan mukbang, y'all. Y'all know I'm a meat eater. That's why I haven't been doing that. I don't do vegan because I love meat. I love 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 me some meat, but I love vegetables too. So I'm gonna make me some nice veggies, like a stir fry veggies and some. I don't know what else to do with vegetables. I'm sure dares to do with me a vegan mukbang. Because he, he, he can go without the meat. You know, vegan is not vegetarian. Is it? Mm-mm. That's not the same. I'm going to do a vegan one because they asked me to do a vegan one and a vegetarian one. I'm going to do a vegetarian one, y'all. And then I'm going to do a vegan one. Vegetarian, you don't eat meat. Vegan, you don't eat meat and you don't eat anything that comes from an animal. It's the same thing. It's not. How come it's not? Because it excludes like milk and cheese. I don't eat no. I ain't gonna eat no milk with no butter veggies. and all that other stuff that you would eat. So basically, I just stick to vegetables then. Right. And then if I go to a vegan restaurant, they are gonna know to give me some vegan stuff. Oh yeah, if you go to a vegan and restaurant, and it's gonna be, be vegan. right because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna eat no cheese with it on there. I thought vegetarian can eat cheese. Can they eat cheese? Sure. Oh. Mm. Y'all, it's hard for me to know. But I'm learning. So there's a whole little thing that you gotta do with the vegans. Vegans, I mean, whole little, whole little, uh, yeah, because you can't eat, like, eggs and stuff like that either. Right. Vegan. Oh, you can't eat eggs? Oh, yeah, because that's comes meat. from an animal. That, oh, anything that comes from anything an animal. Anything that comes from an animal. Mm-mm. Y'all, and then some people, some vegans watching me, so that's really interesting. I know what I don't know what y'all be saying. I mean, is it a reason why they do that? Is it because they, they love animals, or they do it because they don't want to? Mm-hmm. Because I know some people have different mm -hmm. reasons. Like some Those of you that are vegans... You can probably answer that question. Yeah, why do y'all, do you go, do you do vegans because, are you vegan because of animal rights? Or are you vegan because you just don't like to, you want to stay away from the meats? Because you know it's for a health reason. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> y'all know what? I used to always think that if you're a vegetarian, that all vegetarians are skinny. That ain't true. I know that. I found that out. Mm -mm. I just automatically assume because if you eat vegetables all the time, but then not to think that I'm like, oh my god, they can eat ice cream. Not ice cream, but dessert. Yeah, vegetarians can eat ice cream. Right, they can eat right. They can eat ice cream, desserts. They can eat uh, French fries. They can eat ketchup and all the condiments. So they can eat a lot of stuff to make them to get that, that can get fatty. Sure. Cause all they doing is excluding the meat, right? And the meat does not really put a lot of weight on you. You may think differently, but it's the truth to me. Mm. I mean, if you like low carb, if you low carb, you can eat. You can a eat lot. a lot of meat. Mm-hmm. And not game. And lose weight. Mm -mm. Mm. My mouth is burning with the spice, but it's so good. Can't help yourself. <sighs> mm -mm. It's that crunch. It's got a nice crunchy top on it, y'all. It's still crunchy on that one time? What you do? Heat it Put up it in, in the toaster. Uh huh. See, y'all. There's rules to this thing. Mm hmm You gotta put it in the toaster to get that crunch. <clears throat> yeah, if you're heating up something that's supposed to be crunchy, don't put it in the microwave. Mm -hmm. Throw it in the toaster. You know, if it's something like this, throw it in the toaster. You know, and put it on broil or bake or whatever. I would probably, you know, you might want to throw it on bake just so it to get warm and then throw it on broil so you can get that nice crunch on the top. 
Mm, mm, mm. Oh. Or if you don't have a toaster, you can use the oven. Yeah, you can use broil in the oven too. Mm -hmm. I don't know everybody ain't got no toaster. I ain't had a toaster for, for the longest time. We didn't, remember? Mm -hmm. Now y'all, I broke my toaster for $5. No, it was $5. Yeah, $5. Mm -hmm. I went, I go to, I went to a, uh, every year I go to a resale shop. It's like a resale warehouse with nothing but a bunch of clothes and <clears throat> furniture and, I mean, they even got cars there. It's crazy, but it's so nice, y'all. I be buying new clothes there, kid you not, new clothes. Most yes, come jeans. from churches or something like that. Did you say something? Mm -hmm. like that? It comes from churches, churches, big, big, huge churches get together and donate all of these clothing items and different things out their closet. I mean, brand name stuff, y'all. People stuff with tags on them already. You can get all every shirt in the at the, in the whole entire warehouse. It's a dollar, and every um everything. Okay, so it's a dollar for uh shirts. You you pay uh two dollars for every, every jean. Every, every pair of pants, no matter what the pants are, they have shoes. I make like crazy, y'all. Crazy, right? Like they have jewelry there, everything. They plug, they plug in so hard. I'm like, I go every year. Mm. I ain't no shame to my game. It's there. Where is that? In Illinois, Bloomington. Um, Bloomingdale? Bloomington Normal. I think no Bloomington Normal. Mm -hmm. I go every year with my godma. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Which is coming up in April. It is. Let's talk about it. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, but, and then guess, catch this, y'all. When it's about to close, the, the place is about to close, do you guess they, they, what they do? They give you, they give you uh, two bags, right? Two bags. And you got to fill this bag up as much as you want with anything you want in them bags. As long as them bags are filled up to the brim. And you'll get everything in that bag for 50 cents. Man. <laughs> everything Man. in that bag. They be having tablecloths, little things for your house, clocks. Um, they have electronics. It's crazy, y'all. Y'all, I have trip. me a, I have me a nice shopping. You saw my shopping cart with wheels? Mm-hmm. For that special for that trip. Cause I'll be throwing everything. I'll be coming back with don't I be coming back with some good clothes. Yeah, she be coming back with some nice stuff. All the time. She be coming back. I remember the first time she went, she came back. She had all kinds of stuff. I was looking at her like, okay. Yeah. How much did we spend on all this stuff, right? $22. Like $22. <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> He's you know, like, like, you got all this stuff. I'm like, yeah. I said, like, one of them shirts would have been $22. Yeah. And I brought him some stuff when I get mm -hmm. the last, and the next time I brought him some stuff. Mm -hmm. I brought him some nice uh, zip ups and Darius a couple yeah. of sweaters. Yeah. Some of the ones y'all been seeing on the, mm -hmm. on, the on the channel, you mm -hmm. seeing that they got from that. I'm telling y'all, don't be sleep on no rummer sales. You Those know, are good too, cause don't I'm wearing them in winter time with my. You know how it is, you know, fellas. You go out and you want you don't want to be cold, but you don't really want to be hot either. Mm -hmm. You know, so I throw on one of them little zip up sweaters over my business shirt. You know, my button up, and and I'm good. Leave it leave it cocked open a little bit. Show mm -hmm. your button up, and man, you good. Yep, good in the neighborhood. And they, and they all have a little neck on them, you know, like a turtle neck on them, so you can kind of unzip it just show. I some brought, nice stuff, man. I done brought plenty of shirts, y'all, with the with the collars, very nice, professional, that you can roll up the sleeve. Pretty. Y'all be asking me where I get that stuff from? I'll be buying, I'll be buying them shirts for $1.50. A dollar. Mm-hmm. I think it's, yeah, it's a dollar. It's crazy, y'all. I brought a toaster for $5. And it was in good, very good condition. Great condition. For real. Ooh. I bought a rice maker for $2. Left my phone, y'all. I'm on call. Oh. <laughs> y'all, we're going to sign out in a minute. So I'm getting, I'm full. But before we do, uh -huh. before we do, what did y'all do for St. Patrick's Day? Hey, y'all do anything fun, exciting? Y'all, I know some of y'all was out there Drunk. in the streets, <laughs> out there in them streets, 
But uh, yeah, y'all y'all doing y'all thing in the streets. I ain't I ain't about that life, y'all. I, I just yeah, I ain't about that life. We'll we'll do all that over here. But you know, hope y'all had some fun. Y'all celebrated the holiday. Yeah. Uh, especially if you Irish. Hope you wasn't out there you fighting. Said Irish. <laughs> you know we call them fighting Irish. Oh. Uh, yeah, because I'm telling you, them them uh. Taverns have been staying open late. They must oh, yeah. open like four in the morning, two this in the, the morning. Weekend, girl, this, man, man, they ain't playing. They be out here. So, you know, I, last year I was downtown. Let's see, I was downtown over on the east side. Man, this weekend, St. Patrick's Day weekend, and the weekend before, man, right. crazy because you got all them college kids. They're like, there's like two, three colleges in the area right down in oh, there. Oh, yeah, in that area. And, man, they just be pub crawling. They be everywhere out Going there. Going hopping, pub hopping. Hop. Man, you see them come out of the frat house, and it ain't nothing but same colors, jerseys, shirts, or whatever. And they walk in groups of like green. 10 or 20. Yeah, they all had on green. Green. They got uh, the Packers on. They walking in groups of like 10, 15, 20. And they all going, you know, pub crawling. You know, it'd be crazy out there in terms of how many people be in them bars down there. Mm -hmm. Crazy, crazy. It they is. be getting it in. Can they I get a napkin? In. They do be getting what it in. And um, especially with the, um, Let me you get should. This napkin hand right here. Okay. But you should see them people when it's, when it's summertime. When it's summertime and down there by Marquette University and all of it, them, the girl, them people, them kids. Be going to bar to bar, walking on foot. Oh, yeah, for sure. You can tell they drunk. Half yeah, of them you can go to talking the, all loud. See. You can go from the east. If you if you got a car, you can go from the east side to downtown in about five minutes. It's literally like yeah, two yeah. miles. You know, sometimes yeah. five. Not, not rarely five, but you know, somewhere between two to five miles. You ain't so doing you can that. Literally, you can get on the strip and you be downtown in no time. A lot of times they, they catch an Uber or a Lyft and yeah. get down there and Man, yeah. cause you know, you know they ain't gonna drive. Cause they ain't gonna you be wanting to drive not. back. And plus, you know, parking is a trip down there. You know, so. Oh my goodness, y'all! Yeah, y'all don't even know trip. what parking is like. Like it's this horrible. Yeah, y'all. You can't even go visit nobody without getting tickets out 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 there. Oh yeah, you. You asking it's bad. for a ticky? It's bad. You asking for a ticky? They start at what thirty dollars or something? Twenty dollars. My sister said twenty dollars. Yeah, they start at twenty. But if you let them bad oh. boys go. No, no, no. She, she said they start at 20, but after, yeah. uh, they give you 10 after days. a couple of days, they, they go I, up. I think it's like, I think you, it's a $20 ticket, and then you got 10 days, and then after that it turns a $30 ticket, and it just keeps going up after that. That's great. What, man. If Get I live down there, I'm just going, no, no. I'm just going to uh, buy me the, uh. Yeah, the yeah. The parking um, thing. Yeah, so if you live on the east side, uh, up here in Milwaukee, or downtown-ish, um, you basically just want to spend that hundred or two hundred a month or whatever they charge you as part of your yeah um, on your, your apartment. But see, at that point you be thinking it. it's not worth it. But you don't be thinking that way when you be trying that rent. You like okay, my rent is already such a such. Get a couple of tickets. Do I really want to uh, spend that hundred dollars? Well, you didn't pay that hundred yet. <laughs> yeah, but that's true. But it's only a it's a hundred dollars a it's a hundred dollars a month. That's twelve hundred dollars. My sister said she has spent. She said that parking. Mm -hmm. When you pay that parking thing for a hundred dollars, it's way worth it because she got way, 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 way over a hundred dollars a month of home tickets. Yeah, that's that's cray cray. She said she just throw them in the club. <laughs> After a while, you like, yep. Yeah. Right. right, but she said she confused. She don't know where to park at. Yeah, because some sometimes they have different rules too, especially like in the winter time. You park on this side of the street, you know, right. you, got, you got to park That's on that side do. of the street, they got, and they alternate, and then, yeah. but really and truly, you just kind of got to look. But, baby, sometimes, you look, like, all I know that, but, but, I know that, but sometimes it's not even that easy. Sometimes right. you see signs, sometimes you don't see signs, this sign says this, and then, sometimes, you know how Parking Wars was? I know how Parking Wars watch, is, I Parkin watched Parking Wars. Wars. They always say, oh, the sign wasn't even posted there, oh, it's not my fault, you should go to the rules, listen, and look listen. it up, and know that it's a parking... 
Unless they, they edited bogus, the tape though. on parking wars, they be bogus. Them sometimes. signs be sitting right there, and they be clearly. Baby, sometimes, don't they, don't. sometimes they don't. Sometimes they don't. I be looking at it like, why would you park there? It says right Baby, there. Baby, but sometimes it don't. You would be a horrible. You would be probably be a good parking authority. What you calling people? I would because it's a parking right there. patrol. Listen, because you love to do give tickets. You I love am, giving tickets. I don't love you. How, I, I can see, how, I can see how your 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 face lit up Listen, when you was like. All I'm trying to say is. Yeah, right. This one. I'm trying to say y'all sometimes i'm telling y'all i'm, I'm not it. a rule breaker i like to read if it says don't park there i don't park there because i don't want to come out and see the ticket and because i'm just gonna be mad at myself i can't get mad at the meter mate or the or the whoever the parking authority for giving me a ticket because it's clearly stated right there don't mm -hmm. park there uh -uh. No standing. Some people don't know what the difference is between no standing and no parking. There, there's. I think sometimes to me the 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 the, the sign is not very clear. They said park here from one to two or winter hours or school hours. Do not park here from three to eight. Then from this, I mean, you know, from eight in the morning to three with school hours in, you can't park there. But then when it's three to something, you can park there. And then it tells you this winter hours. It's all types of stuff on that sign. Or oh, sometimes the sign ain't even there. Now, if the sign's not there, or if the sign's not there, you can obviously argue that. Take the ticket, go to court, argue the ticket. If the sign is also covered by trees or something like that, where it's that not readily it visible, does. which sometimes it does be you can, like you that. You still get in trouble, though. Yeah, you get in trouble. You fault. get the ticket, but you can go to court, take a picture, go to court, and argue your position. That's what I would do. because That's they tell you, do. But they tell you the parking um, uh, meter man, whatever he is, Tells you once I that, wrote the ticket, I can't take it back. Once you wrote the ticket, they can't take it back. That's number one. Number two, they tell you, well, it's it's your job to go look up our rules of parking in your neighborhood. Yeah. So it, I'm just like, what? Because they said, because if you was coming in town, like if we was coming in town to your, your city, we have to look up the parking rules and everything, what's going on with y'all traffic. It's or, true. you know. It's true. You do. You, it's, your, rules. It's, it's our fault, y'all. It's our fault. It really is. It's like you when you go when you travel from city to city, you're supposed to look up the laws for those cities. That's why that's what happens when people travel from one city to another. What's legal in their city is not legal in the next city or the next state. And then all of a sudden you're like doing you some stuff that yeah, like like U turns for example. U turns in Wisconsin are legal. Go down to Illinois, U turns. Make U turns. It's what? It, it's illegal in Illinois to do a U turn. In, in Wisconsin, oh, is it, U-turns oh, are legal. Right, right, right. Unless otherwise posted. Mm -hmm. So it's, the, it's the, you know, it's, it's not legal in Illinois. So right. You go down there and bust you like you at home. You gonna get, you gonna be get busting ticket. that ticket and busting that wallet out to pay for Let it. Let me see, That's what else we did? We went to uh, New York. You was yeah, mad. We went to, no, it was Atlanta. So we oh, was in yeah, Atlanta, y'all. And yeah, it was we Atlanta. were heading downtown back to the hotel. I don't know where I'm going. It's people all around me. They going all fast because I don't know where I'm going, mm -hmm. right? And I'm trying to get you. to the hotel, which I can see. And so then I busted. I, I turned left. I didn't see the sign that said no left turn. We was on Peace right Street right there. Too. We was on we Peace was Street. On Peace Street, yeah, something like that. Yeah, that was the name of the street. Right. And we were we were staying at the Westin. Mm -hmm. So we were like right there. Mm-hmm. We was at right the there, Westin. And I could see it. The Westin was right on my left. I couldn't make a left turn there. I didn't know that. I felt the pressure of the cars coming. And, and they were blowing at him they and everything. Like you supposed to go. And I'm like, Shoot, they could have been blowing at me trying to tell me not to make that left turn. No, <laughs> I, don't I know, doubt it. My left signal was on. Oh, maybe. But anyway, so I make that left turn there. And, then he come to and there was a cop <laughs> right there. I was he like, was oh. like right there, flag me down, pull me over. Was extremely rude. I'm a, I'm gonna put that out there. Yes, he was because he was he was loud and yelling at us. Like we, I mean, it wasn't even that big of a deal, you know. Cause we saw we, we were new here. We were new. Well, I don't, I don't know. think he was yelling. Oh, uh, he was he was definitely. His 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 voice and his inflection was unnecessary. Is all I'm gonna say. It was it was uh, literally I ain't unnecessary. Get, I didn't see, see all that, but it was unnecessary because I was just I was just trying calmly to explain that I'm not from here. And he didn't care. He did not care. <laughs> At all. Basically, and like to so give what? Me that ticket too. And of course, and here's the thing: you in another state, you done got a ticket. Are you really gonna show up to that court date? No. You really gonna take a flight 
to go argue that ticket when the flight is gonna be more than the ticket. And then y'all, the ticket no. was almost like three hundred dollars. Yeah, the ticket was. It was like two eighty four. It was like two. It was like, like, two, it was yeah, like it was almost three hundred. It, it was crazy. It was I was just crazy. like, they bogus. And you know, and and you know, he knows where I live in. He knows where I live. He got my license. He can see where I live. I don't stay in the state. So you gonna write me a ticket for that much money? You, cause you know I'm gonna pay the ticket. What am I, what else I'm gonna do? Not pay the ticket? So they're gonna charge you. They're gonna tax right. you on that ticket. Tax. Right. You. So you, you know, you gonna get taxed. You gonna pay that ticket, and then on top of paying that ticket, you know, you gonna you gonna watch your insurance go up cause you got that ticket for that one little thing. That's just how it go, man. It's life. Mm -hmm. That's life. Oh, yeah. That's life. We ready, it's baby? It is. I'm chilling. I'm oh. cool right now. What do you mean? You know? Mm. I'm chill. I'm, I'm just saying because yeah. your phone. That's on, that's on sound so I can hear it if it goes on. Uh. I'm just not used to not having it when I, I don't want to miss the call, you know. Folks Drop in the ball, need. Drop the miss the call. Folks be in need. Who they pick up what? that red phone and they call me. You know what I'm saying? The emergency line. Please don't, baby. Explain yourself. People, everybody don't know you on here. What? What do you mean? What do you say? They need me. Folks on my red line. Come on, explain yourself. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> you know I mean, what I'm saying? I, I know what you're saying, but I don't know why you're saying. So anyway, for those of y'all that don't know, acting crazy. I am a, I'm a service manager, so I, I'm on call to support. Um, basically a large hospital system, 15 hospitals, 150 clinics. And so when I'm on call, if something happens, it gets escalated to me. Um, that's why that's, he called. That's, that's, that's why he in need. That's yeah, it. That's, 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 that's it. That's all. That's a hot line. I don't know what else y'all could have got out of that. You know, but you know, whatever. 1-800-NATE hotline. Okay, Nate the Great. You, you took it there. That's not what I was. Nate, you forced it. You don't know what's going on with people's minds. I don't like, he know got a hotline? You I don't know what people He got mind. a red line? You don't know what's going on. Real talk. Okay. Crazy self. Well. Nate the Great. 1 800. Call you, Nate you the Great. You got my number. You hit me up. That's huh. it. You the only one who got the number to uh -uh. hit me up like that. Okay. I know what my hotline bleed. Oh, that was so like. I think that's how that goes. I don't know, y'all. What's that? Who's that? That's the Drake song. Baby. Baby. That's Drake. Baby. I'm, I think that's the word. You revealing your age right now. It is what it right is. Right now. I don't care. I'm good. I don't want to go backwards, y'all. I ain't trying to be 20 again or, or a teenager. Ain't no way. I ain't trying to go back. I know I some of y'all out there be wanting to go, you know, y'all want to be younger and you want to do all this other stuff. Look. I would love to have the energy and the body that I had 20 years ago with the wisdom and the, you know, and the knowledge that I have right now, but who wouldn't? Like everybody says that, right? So, uh, but other than that, man, I'm good. I'm good being the, the age, age you that are. I am. I'm, hey, you can't change it. You can't get it back. That's the one thing y'all can't get back, y'all. Time. Once it's spent, you can't get it back. Even that second you just get just lost just now. Can't get it back. You just lost 10 seconds. It's gone. You just, lost, you just lost three seconds. That's right. You don't miss your water. To well one dry. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Once it's gone, it's gone. It is what it is. Can't get it back. Whatever. Whatever. Nope. So, so um, every moment, every minute is precious. Spend that time with fam, with the fam bam. If bam. you're married, make sure that you don't let anything take precedence over the your time marriage. you spend with your wife. Or your husband, because guess what? That job gonna be there. That work's gonna always be there. Uh, and any other ancillary, you know, errands and all that stuff that you absolutely must do can wait. They really can. You think so? Yeah, I really do think so. I really do think so, because I think that um, in the long run, we over busy ourselves with a whole bunch of stuff. A whole bunch of stuff that no, ain't okay. important that we make urgent but don't but are not. Mm -hmm. I mean, they may be important, uh -huh. but they ain't urgent. Uh -uh. And there's a difference. Mm -hmm. You know, the stuff stuff's important. Yeah, it gotta get done, but it don't mean it gotta get done in this moment. Right. Because in this moment, it's your moment. And it's your time, moment. It's your moment. It's your time to spend that moment with your 
with the wife or with the husband. With the, the hubby, wife? With the hubby? Yeah. And the hubby was Or with the kids, you know? Don't don't neglect the kids. Don't leave the kids out of the process either. Spend that time with your family. Mm-hmm. And don't let nobody take that time from you because I tell you this, kids grow up real quick. Mm -hmm. They might be sometimes annoying, get on your nerves and all the other stuff that we all say, but we love them tremendously and we want to see and make the best of their lives and help them make the best of their lives. And at the same time, mm -hmm. that time be flying, man. Your kid will go from elementary to middle school and all of a sudden in high school. I was such in high school, and then that four years goes by so quick, and you talking about college, and and all of a sudden you empty nesters, and you're like, where did the time go? I'm 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 gonna be happy to be an empty nester, y'all. When you in it, when you're in that time frame, it doesn't seem like it's going very fast. When you get close to the end, all of a sudden you like. Man, I still gotta teach them this, 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 and this. They ain't ready yet. That's and I got like a, I got like 18 months left. You know what I'm saying? That happens. That happens. So make sure you get the time in, you take the time to get, get the lessons across mm -hmm. that you need to get across because uh, when they get out there on their own, they're going to have to think on their feet. And if you haven't taught them uh, and if you haven't given them wisdom, you know how it is. They think they know it all. Once they get to they think they know it all anyway. They think they know it all. They, they, so they, know it all. They, they hear you, but they don't really understand and they'll understand later. Right. That's how I go. That how it That's be? how I go. Ugh. Okay, Nate. Baby, don't press on my stomach. Oh, no, we ain't gonna do that. No, we ain't gonna do that. We ain't gonna do that. But you can't give me a, a napkin right there. So I can wipe this down. A napkin? Okay, let's sign out before we go clean. Give me, no, no. See, y'all, you and Darius always do that. <laughs> what? We, ain't nothing wrong with me picking up or something. What are we cleaning up? Why, you know? I clean it while y'all talking. Oh, you just making noise with your wrist thingy. Not a lot. Look at you. Like Darius, looking down at your hands and I'm your shirt. They say no crumb, get on me or nothing, you know. It is what it is. Listen. Come on. Knock him out. No, but you can sign it out. Okay, y'all, sign out. Why do I always have to sign out? Okay, y'all, sign out. Yeah. What? Okay. You know what I'm going to do. What's Thank y'all for coming out. Anyways, thank you. Oh. Yeah, you almost oh said the same thing. Oh my thank y'all for coming out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, oh, share this video with anyone. Everyone know what your girl and the fam Bam is doing on the channel. And I'm going to see you tom tomorrow with another video. We love you guys so, so, so much. And don't forget to stay safe, blessed, stay blessed. Oh, and also, y'all, OMG, we will be definitely, definitely praying for your people in Florida that lost some people off of that bridge. Off oh, the bridge, yeah. That bridge? Six people, y'all. Six people, and they just built that bridge? I didn't know and they it collapsed. Just built it. I knew they had some structural. That's know, what it said. It, it said that they stuff. had just built it previously, and it collapsed. It's terrible. That's uh, that, that is, is tragic. Is uh, like she said. Pray for the families. Um, we've seen some of the some of the Footage. cars they were pulling out of there, and it's it's pretty bad, y'all. So if it make ain't sure one, keep yeah. them in prayer, and uh, we gonna keep y'all in prayer. Yeah, definitely. Florida. They say it's close to Miami. Miami, Florida. I don't know. Okay, whatever. But anyways, y'all, peace. Don't forget to check me out, man, in the house. And she'll be on my show, too, this week. Because uh, we going to be doing some... Are we eating salmon? I mean, salmon? We are eating that. We're going to do that recipe with some, uh, uh, what I call it, mushroom risotto and that smoked air fried blackened. Salmon. Okay, yeah, I can eat with you. That's gonna be on hit, y'all. Yeah, I'll eat with you then. So check us out. But then I have to eat your portion? Huh? I have to eat your portion? Hey, and look here. I'll have to make you your own portion. Thank you. That's like my food for the week, y'all. See, now, I, I, that means I'm gonna get skimped. That's like my food. I'm gonna get skimped, y'all. I had to buy you a bag. You ain't going to stuff by bag. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna end up, no. What I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna eat one. I'm just gonna eat a little portion for you because I'm gonna have to do my mukbang. Yeah, well. Y'all gonna see it. It's coming up, y'all. All right, y'all. See y'all later. Stay tuned. Peace. Stay tuned. Stay safe. You can turn.